God is in control. Welcome to today's episode. We are not the ones in control. God is. He is the one in control of everything. Most times we tend to try to control situations or people. We want to feel a sense of having control. At times people want what they want and start running on their own strength thinking they can work things out. We do ourselves a disservice when we leave the presence of God and try to achieve things by ourselves. We eventually grow weary. We cannot do it alone. We cannot control circumstances. We cannot control other people. What is required of us is self-control, which is part of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. One of the best decisions we can make for our, our lives is to completely surrender to God. When we let go and let God, we unburden ourselves. God wants to carry our burdens. He does not want us to go through life weighed down. We are to completely surrender, give everything to God. It is the best way of living, taking to God everything in prayer. The desire to be in control is an illusion. We are not in control. The earlier we realize that, the better. The earlier we realize God is the one in control, the better. We desire a sense of certainty and that usually makes us want to control things and people. Yet Jesus tells us to take everything to him and we will find rest for our souls. We are told not to be anxious about anything. We are to take everything to God in prayer. Philippians 4 verse 6 to 7 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. When we rely on God for everything, we get peace that the world can never give us. God gives us peace. When we rely on God, we stop worrying about things of this world. We take the word of God and stand by it knowing with certainty that what God has said in his word is indeed true and that he is a promise keeper. We know we can trust God, and because of that, we rest in Him. In Isaiah, we are told not to fear. God is our God, and He will strengthen us, help us, and uphold us with His righteous right hand. God is love. And he loves us with everlasting love. He is in control and he wills us good. No good thing does God withhold from those who walk uprightly. We are not to walk in this life trying to control everything. We need the need for control comes out of fear. We are told to walk in love, and there is no fear in love. The truth is, perfect love drives out all fear. Perfect love drives out all fear. We have to know who our Father is. He is the maker of heaven and earth. He made the earth and everything in it. He is the one we go to. He is the one we rest in. Luke 12 verse 22 to 26 says, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body, what you will wear. Life is more than food, and the body more than clothes. Consider the ravens. They do not sow or reap. They have no storeroom or burn. 
yet God feeds them. And how much more valuable you are than birds. Who of you by worrying can add a single hour to his life? Since you cannot do this very little thing, why do you worry about the rest? Jesus loves us. God is the first and the last. Be blessed.